All right, guys. So today I'm gonna make a salad. Uh, I'm on raw food, and a lot of my friends, when I tell them, they say, "Oh, how do you get your protein? You know, how do you get this? How do you get that? Oh, salad just tastes like shit, and meat is so good, and I need meat, and that's all bullshit." And I'm gonna show you right now what you can make which is kind of a transition food where I'd say 80% raw, 20% cooked and of course no meat, no eggs, no dairy none of that poisonous bullshit alright so we've got uh, capsicum we've got avocado I'm gonna use avocado as a base when you eat raw food it's important that you eat vegetables that contains fat so you'll get a feeling of being full if not you'll have to eat a lot of vegetables or, or juice to uh, to feel like you get enough Right, so I'm adding the avocado. I'm not a great chef, you know. It's definitely something I could improve upon. This is just a simple recipe that'll get you full, give you a lot of nutrients, way more, way, way more nutrients than normal dinners. For sure, this is just avocado, it's just packed with vitamins, minerals, healthy fats, and the taste is quite neutral and blends with almost everything. So, what I'm doing now, mixing it up, is uh, when food goes in your stomach, the stomach acids. dissolve it preferably into just liquid now if you eat meat or stuff that is hard to digest parts of the food or, or a lot of the food will go into the intestines undigested and this can lead to constipation it, it means you won't get full benefit you won't extract all the nutrients from the the food you're eating and it's not a good situation all right so we've got the avocado i'm thinking let's chop some tomatoes so we've got these cherry Tomatoes, I guess That's what they, they're called Just chop them And we've got some capsicum Just clean it It's not organic You wanna always try to use Organic foods Or wild foods which are all, all, all also organic, but probably even stronger than organic food. All of these vegetables you buy in the in the store does contain pesticides. Even if they say it's safe, it does contain traces of pesticides. And you don't want that in your body. I think I read somewhere that the average human has 13 pesticides and herbicides in them at any one time. I mean, just sowing grains, just when you buy the grains from the wholesale grain reseller. 
You need to use gloves because the grains themselves are just full of fungicides. You know, even before they, they're planted, they're treated as chemical waste. Um, this is rucola salad. Anything green is just full of vitamins. Just Google it. You'll be shocked. Vitamin K off the charge. Any salad, any leafy greens, mustard, leafy greens, cress. Uh, spinach, kale, all of it, everything green. Leaves on trees in the forest, they're just full of vitamin K. And vitamin K has to do with transport of nutrients and oxygen in the blood. So obviously it's good for you. And we're, talk we're talking thousands of percent. So as long as you as long as you get your greens then you're good. So what do we do about that? We add more greens. So what else have I got? I've got some dill. Nice nice dill. A little bit old maybe. Let's do some dill. And cilantro, very important. Full of vitamins and nutrients and everything that, that the body needs. So we got I'm just gonna rinse. Again, these are not organic. I, could, I, I simply couldn't find any today. I have no idea how much pesticides and herbicides are in them, how much end up in my system, how unhealthy that is for you in the long run, short term. I simply don't know and I don't think anyone else knows except the people who, who produces it. I don't, I don't know. Okay, so we have a lot of greens now, up to almost half, and we've got, what else have we, have we got, we've got anything good, anything good, so hemp seed, hemp seed, Hemp seed on there. We're gonna put some chickpeas. Now these are from a can. I'm sure I bought it in a store. And I have no idea if there's aluminum coming from the can into the chickpeas. If I have no idea, but they taste great and they're They're not exactly full of protein, but they make you full. Now, you don't need chickpeas, but they, they make you full and they taste, they taste pretty good. And on top of that, I'm going to just put some oil. Now, we've got Eco Organic olive oil but I'm not sure how organic it is we can do um, some salsa I have some salsa it's got garlic in it and some people say garlic and onions are not really not really good for you and some people say they're really good uh, I think they're not, especially onion, the garlic is hard on the system, but it tastes great, so 
And finally, some chili pepper. Get some seeds in there, make it spice it up a little bit. Uh, finally chopped it so you, you don't want a big chunks of chili in there to ruin the experience. You want to make it just blend out, right? And that's it. And then let's let's just add a lime, you know. Get some citrus, make it a little, little bit more alkaline, make it a little bit more juicy.